the best approach is a layered approach uh, to security. Obviously, we see advancements in the technology and allowing more and more capabilities on the card. But you still hear the statistics about over three quarters of the cards not being read by a reader. Uh, so we start with visual security in all cases. We need a very, very uh, advanced high visual security feature to prevent fraud and what we call 40, we want a 40 footer, something that's very easy to recognize that you can um, you know, see from a distance whether it's a legitimate card or not. The chip has to be embedded in a governmental document. So uh, the chip itself cannot be the ID, but it must embed it in a document and it must be detected very easily uh, in case the chip is replaced or taken out. And you additionally need physical security features uh, because a passport where the chip, in which the chip doesn't work, it's still a valid passport. So in this case you need still the traditional physical security features. On, on the end of the day, there must be a combination of, uh, how can I say, of techno technologies and solutions. And uh, this till now is not done in a proper way. For sure it will happen, but uh, I think on this all the parties must work for the next one to two years or perhaps longer to find on the end of the day the right way. What we are really seeing more and more and what is from my point of view much more threatening is really um, an attack on the electronic side. So having spent a lot of um, budget, government budget, on making documents more and more secure, I believe that um, people need to realize that only with the complete PKI infrastructure in place will you be in a position to check the authenticity of a document and to actually combat fraud. It's, I think, not a good idea to speak on one security mechanism. You have to look on the authentication mechanisms, on the cryptographic mechanisms, on the digital signature and cipher and, uh, mechanisms as well as on the asymmetric uh, cryptography or the symmetric cryptography and uh, of course uh, hardware protection mechanisms as well. Obviously with advancements of technology we see multiple technologies present on a particular card. Uh, this brings the capability for mutual authentication between a card and a reader and also the opportunity for um, uh, for multi-factor authentication to you know, bring a higher level of security to the, um, to the access environment.